Ridgeview junior forward Erica McCall is one of the top basketball recruits in the nation. Tonight, the Wolfpack's game with Miramonte had a special guest on hand to check her out. UConn women's head coach Gino Ariema came to check out the festivities tonight. Now, Ariema was here on a recruiting visit to check out McCall, one of the nation's top juniors. First quarter action in Ridgeview with the ball movement. Jackie Tafoya spots up from beyond the arc, fires, and hits for the game's first points. And Nicole Martin takes the pass and goes to the rack while twisting through the Lions defense for the layup. McCall begins to get into the flow of the game. Get it out of here, the SWAT. Then after a mirror Monte missed jumper, she grabs a board and begins to head up court on the fast break. No one tries to stop her, so she'll go all the way to the hole for the layup. Then she comes back after a steal to get another easy bucket. She finished with 17. This time she takes the post feed and powers her way to the rack. The Lions tried to stay close for Monique Redding with the shot, bucket, and foul. But it was all Wolfpack all the time as they would remain undefeated in South Yosemite League play with a 44-27 victory. But my man Gino, break it down. Piece of cake. Uh, people have been great. You know, uh, that's the one great thing about recruiting. You know, you get to meet a lot of people and go to different parts of the country. And uh, people are great. You know, they're excited that you're in town and you get to watch some good players play. And uh, other than the travel, it's, it's, it's all good. I was a little bit nervous, but you know, I just had to, you know, I had to go just go out there and play my game, you know, just like any other spectator. But you know, you, just, you, know you had to work extra hard for him. But I wasn't that nervous because, you know, I just had to play my game. Gino LaCava and Garza is hosting Foothill in Southeast Yosemite League play. Garza's led comfortably going into the fourth quarter, and they're looking for more. Rashad Jackson with the pull-up jumper, and he'll get the bucket. Up by 11 now, Sheldon Crony with the jumper, and it's short, but Jackson saves the day with the putback of the air ball. Now off the Rams miss, Crony pulls down the board, and he's going with the up and under move, rolls off the rim, but there he is again. Action Jackson. Garces would hold off the Trojans 68-60 and set up a Thursday night showdown with East for the league crown. And in men's college basketball tonight, the Roadrunners shot just 30% from the field and were defeated by Nevada in Reno, 61-47. The Bakersfield College baseball team has gotten off to a quick start by winning four of his first five starts. Today, they began the first of a six-game homestand. And the Renegades host an Allen Hancock today. Bottom of the first inning, and Alan Hancock, B BC, has a runner on when Elijah Trail hits this one just over the second baseman's outstretched glove. And in the right field, Mike Spingola gets on his horse and gets in the third. Now, the next batter is Isaiah Turner, and his bouncer to the left side finds a hole for a single. Spingola scores easily, and we're all even at one apiece. Second inning, 2-1 Alan Hancock, but freshman Tyler Payton sends this one to center field all the way to the fence for a stand-up double. And two batters later, He's brought home on this ground out by Brian Haney. And we're all even again at 2-2. Two to two. Payne would later hit a two-run homer, and that was the difference as the Renegades would go on to the 5-4 victory. Finally, Condor's left wing Evan Troop, Evan Tripp, excuse me, was the East Coast Hockey League's player of the week after helping lead the Condors to three consecutive wins last week, including two goals on Saturday night and a shootout win over Las Vegas. Tripp scored three goals overall, to go with three assists. Pretty impressive your man Gino had come all the way across country. Well, it's true, and he's been to California before. He's had success recruiting here. Yeah. You know, McCall's just a junior, and she said she probably won't make up her mind for a college choice until the first round of college signings in November. Nice right. to have options. It is. Yeah. Thanks, Preston.